Hi everyone, this is Vineet Pandey and today we are going to talk about a very important topic for everyone. Yes, we are going to talk about the interview sessions where English literature students go for the interview and what kind of questions are asked. As you can see in the background, it is Rajasthan Public Service Commission but primarily what I am going to talk about, how I am going to explain is for everyone. It can be used in your PhD entrance, it can be used in a private college interview, it can be used in any state public service commission. In short, I am going to talk about frequently asked questions in any interview based on English literature. Now why I have chosen this line, RPSC, this particular word, because today's evening, two of my favorite students they have qualified RPSC as all are my favorite students but why these two are very close to me because they are the same students. One of them was the topper of net in online class Shubhangi. Another one Abhishek who qualified net for two times and is also a struggling actor in Bollywood. They are very close to me just like family members. So when they qualified RPSC I had a word with them and I started talking about the interview preparation. I know I should not say like that because I believe in hard work but yes God is there God has some blessing on me till now I have guided a lot of students for the interviews and here my friends yes I would say that I have 100% track record if I am guiding someone for the interview on a personal basis they have qualified and I also tell you generally I don't guide everyone because obviously it's really impossible to take out time from net gate and UPSC classes I'm teaching UPSC classes I'm teaching gate classes I'm teaching net classes so it's really hard for me so I thought that with Shubhangi with Abhishek I go for a video and I share it with you I know you want to know the details, you all are going to face the interview, you all will have to face the interview. You qualify NET, you qualify MPhil, PhD exams, you go for an interview, they ask questions. Do you know there are people, they are damn good with pen and paper, they qualify exams, but, but when it comes to speak in front of the board, they trouble you. Some of you can't speak, some of you have a lot of knowledge but you don't know how to put those things in the words. So here in this video my friends, I'm going to talk about frequently asked questions in interviews based on English literature. Primarily it's for all the states but all those who have recently qualified Rajasthan Public Service Commission, make sure you are prepared with all these things. As I start, I must tell you I have taught in University of Delhi for three years and there we have gone for multiple interviews. So my lecture, my uh, this guidance is based on my own experience. Then my net topper student Farheen, Hiral, their own experiences in Gujarat Public Service Commission, Ram. Then we have another student Tanjin from Ladakh, Ram is from Jammu Kashmir, their experience, Utkarsha Das from Odisha, then Mr. Jacob. Goa Public Service Commission. So in short, I have taken their suggestions also and what exactly was asked in their interviews. So my experience, their experience, let's go for the question, let's not go for unnecessary wasting of time and here we go. The very first question, guys take pen and paper or subscribe the channel so that you can watch it again and again. First question is why did you opt for English literature in your post graduation? When you are done with your graduation, you must be having three to five optional subjects in your graduation. What made you go for post graduation in English? I personally wanted to go for geography. I love astrophysics. I love astronomy. I want to know oceanography. So I wanted to go for geography. But then I also had a dream of going to army and as you know my personal story I went for MA English just because I wanted to speak in English. In Rajasthan if you go for MA English I thought in two years I'll start speaking English. So what will be your answer? Do not go for my answer. It is my individual answer and it is the honest truth but truth sometimes is really dangerous. 
If you just tell them that I have gone for MA English only for time pass, only for English learning, English speaking. No. Here my friends, note this question. Go for your answer. Write your answer in the comments. The best answers I will be selecting one by one and pin it down. My friends, make sure you go for a very good answer. My suggestion is literature helps you to become a better human being. Literature makes you more human, more alive. Literature makes you a person with maturity. Literature helps you to be the part of society. I would love to read your comments. I will answer your comments personally. Go for it. Question number two. Who is your favorite writer? I have missed I here, so I should write it. Who is your favorite writer? My friends, repeatedly ask question, frequently ask question. It can be asked from anyone, even anyone who comes to uh, join my institute. Even sometimes I ask my students, those who come for offline batch or online batch. Sometimes even I ask, who is your favorite writer? So they can throw this question on you. Please take a note of it or take a screenshot. See <clears throat> how they are going to make this question tough for you. If they ask you, who is your favorite writer? It's easy. You can take any name. But what if they ask you on the basis of genre? They can simply say, instead of asking who is your favorite writer, they can go for genre. They can say, who is your favorite writer for post-colonials? Who is your favorite writer from absurd theater? Who is your post uh, favorite post-modern writer? So make sure one writer from absurd literature, one from postmoderns, one from you can feminism, feminist theories, Marxist studies. Make sure you have your writers. All those who are getting my personal guidance, I will help you with these things. Drama. They can ask you who is your favorite dramatist. Under pressure, don't make a mistake. Suppose they are asking dramatist, you are talking about novelist. Interview will be spoiled. Interview karab ho jayega. So make sure one dramatist, one novelist, one poet, one essayist are separately prepared. Ye alag se prepare karna. If they say, well, who is your favorite novelist? Make sure you go for some novelist only, right? Now, as I will guide, I'm guiding my students. I guide them with one name, T.S. Eliot. Just prepare him because dramatist, novelist, poet, essayist, critic, one man. One man can be your answer for all these questions. Then, my friends, they can ask you who is your favorite writer on the basis of age and gender. They can ask you the favorite writer from modern age, Victorian age, Elizabethan, your favorite writer from restoration, your favorite writer from neoclassicals. So make sure you have five to seven writers, one writer from different, different age so that you can defend it. Then they can ask you the favorite writer on the basis of gender. They will simply say who is your favorite writer as female favorite writer. So can you name Jane Austen, George Eliot, Virginia Woolf or anyone else? It can be Emily Dickinson. It can be Sylvia Plath. It can be anyone. But gender based writers can also be asked. So make sure you know two to three feminist writers. Now my friends. You must be thinking, what else? Who is your favorite writer country-wise? They will simply say Indian writer, British writer, Americans. So they will simply ask you, tell me about world literature. You will start speaking, sir, world literature, this, that. They'll say, okay, tell me about some German writer. So you have to talk about a German writer or a French writer. So here you can go for a basic revision and here... I tell you a clue. My friends, make sure my video is not by, watched by the professors. If they ask you a question from world literature writer and you don't have any idea what to speak, you don't know what to say, just make one name in English. Any name. Any bring some cricketer's name. Ricky Ponting. So take Ricky and Shane Vaughan's Vaughan and just correct it. Ricky Vaughan. 
and make any title pursuit of happiness god zela go for anything make sure the writer is prepared and made by you why so because nobody is going to do google there nobody is going to check make sure you are confident you have the name of the writer imaginary you have an imaginary book and speak about any literary content related to it and just say this is a denmark's writer sweden's writer or something like that my friends it is just a side kick an excuse i don't support this kind of thing but i'm telling you this is wit if you are under stress under pressure go for it when i was attempting my ssb interview service selection boards for army there was a colonel in the interview he asked me and he said master ji can you recite some poetry lines for a second i was like shit i don't even know the poetic lines i don't remember but then you know what did i do i was like that you don't remember but he is a forgy he is a soldier he is a colonel he is not a literature professor so just go for quotations with confidence so i started woods are lovely dark and deep a little knowledge is a dangerous thing drink deep or not parent spring and then some two lines from here two lines from here two lines from here i went for 8 to 10 lines with proper confidence having the faith that that guy doesn't know literature it worked he praised me they are very good so make sure when you are stuck don't show that you are losing your confidence confidence nahi lose karna hai so make sure you have separate writers prepared here again post colonial writers indian writers one writer from all these groups make sure you prepare if you need my help i am here to help you because you have qualified exams you have qualified other entrances if the interview is stopping you from your success i will help you i will not disappoint you go for next one next question recite lines from any poetry or your own writings if you are a literature student then you must recite some lines from any poetry so from any poetry it's easy but then don't go for woods are lovely dark and deep but i have promises to keep miles to go before i sleep miles to go before i sleep. so don't go for these things this is you know oft quoted cliche so go for any poetry line from wordsworth one impulse from a vernal wood take this line kids heard melodies are sweet those unheard are sweeter go for mac black no you know all things are subject to decay when fate summons monarch must obey go for these kind of references but don't go for woods are lovely dark and deep because maximum people just mug it up and they will speak your lines should be different now when they say any poetry then you have a free hand say anything you want but prepare some 10 lines but when they say your own poor writings so if they say your own writings they will ask you that do you write they will say do you write my friends i suggest you to say a yes don't say that you don't write even if you are not a writer don't say you don't write so what to do mug up 10 lines from some unknown poem mug up see my friends i'm just helping you to qualify so don't go for the moral judgment that oh vinay sir is also giving the wise answer it is a wise answer the interview is all about your presence of mind mug up 10 lines from some unknown poetry you can simply say that yes sir i try to write i try to uh, you know explain uh, express myself in emotions in words and when they say go for some lines go for some lines they will be like that this person is actually a literature lover so you know just go for some indian writers in writing in english unknown writers mug up some 7 to 8 lines and you can simply say that sir i have written only 8 to 10 lines i am still wor working on it and it comes to me in emotions and imagination then only i write it can be a great answer for you next one and if you are liking my wise answers subscribe button is there friends we subscribe a lot of people you know tiktok viktok and all subscribe it for knowledge itra to banta hai mere liye i'm sure aap kar denge do you want to pursue phd another important question can be asked in any interview even in private college interview do you want to pursue phd if you say yes 
So first of all, yes, you have to say yes. Don't say no. Because they want a person who is devoted to literature. If you are devoted to literature, you have to go for PhD. So don't say no. Say yes, sir. If you are doing it, it's good. Then you can talk about your topic. If you are not doing it, then say yes, I want to do in future. And the moment you will say that yes, I want to do in future, they'll ask you, what's your topic? Aapka kya topic hai and why? So first of all, you want to do PhD and then you say not decided, sir, topic not decided. Most of the students, they ask me, please tell me a topic. So I simply answer them, it is your PhD. Why should I tell you the topic? You come with the topic, I will help you. So don't say that you don't have a topic. You have a topic. Now the question is, sir, what? My friends, just talk about queer theory. Say, sir, I'm working on queer theory. Okay. Or Chinese market reference in Indian literature. If you can just see Chinese market reference in Indian literature or I'm study, working on gender studies so you don't have to go for the complete topic just say that I'm working on certain things so I'm working on post-colonial diaspora in South Indian literature I'm working on translation writings in North Indian literature Northeast literature just say something but make sure whatever you say you talk about this this for five to ten lines Kuch bhi ho bolna jarur uske upar because they'll say why, why did you choose that topic. So you should have an answer. Aapko batana padega. Latest trends in literature, very important question, very tough question. They will ask you, are you actually aware of latest trends in literature? Do you know what's happening around? You say, sir, I'm qualified net, I'm here for joining. I have qualified public service commission, I'm here for joining for the interview. And they will say, do you even know what is happening around in the world in latest trends? If you are clueless, can make you miss your interview. Aapka interview kharaab ho jayega if you missed it. So make sure you say, queer theories, latest trends. Take a note of it, my friends. Main bata raho, I'm helping you. Queer theories, graphic novels, minority studies. This may be Dalit literature, Dalit feminism. Dal dena. And eco-criticism. Sujata Bhatt Vandana Shiva post-humanism, etc. I can give you 30 plus more topics, the latest trends. Make sure you take a note of these things, speak it. And yes, friends, don't forget to subscribe. So we go for this, the next one. And one of the things, they can ask you anything. What are the latest trends? So make sure you know these trends. The next one, how will you? One of the favorite question in University of Delhi, and even if they ask you to go for a demo, they can also ask you to teach something. So how will you introduce a text in class? So here is the text in class. So the class is like BA, graduation. You have to teach them Jane Ayo. So how will you introduce Jane Ayo? So they will talk about teaching method and strategy. If you have your own teaching method and strategy, write it in the comments simply write that point number six or seven my answer is this okay so write the answer and i will also give you the answers the next one the latest book you have read one of my favorite questions i ask this question from people who come to meet me and they are literature students i ask them what is the latest book you have read details so if you say i have read the latest book like that so make sure you have one book, you can just speak. So all the writers you already have prepared, take any of their books. Say, sir, nowadays I'm reading Jane Austen. Nowadays I'm reading Virginia Woolf. Take one book and talk about it. Here it's your confidence. It will help them to be impressed. And then they can go for some random questions. Because whatever we have talked about is 90% question. In 10%, they can go for anything. Value of literature in present time, in 21st century. A very tough question. Why? This is the age of mobile phone, tablets. People don't read books. Earlier, there was no internet. Earlier, there was no television. 
earlier people were not connected to each other so their favorite time pass was to read books if you are 90s kids where the in your childhood there was no internet remember we used to read newspaper we used to read magazines and anything that would come around we would read it we had plenty of time here we are busy on instagram twitter facebook chats this and that are we losing ourselves away we are taking ourselves away from the books so the question is what is the value of literature in 21st century i would wait for your comments write this answer in comments because all of suppose 20 of you write the comments thousands of you will others will learn from that answer so let's wait how literature is better than other subjects do you want to write someone a love letter in mathematics literature is the finest language the method you know taking references of everything oh my love my red rose you can simply say these kind of lines walter raleigh's poetry and marlowe's poetry they have these kind of references come live with me be my love and then ben johnson says drink to me with thine eyes only leave a kiss in the cup and i will not ask for the wine literature is the language of love so you can talk about this wait for your answer i'll wait for your answer for this and then some latest questions from literature here they may talk about nobel awards latest sahitya academy awards and booker awards as it's an interview in indian uh, country india they may ask you about the latest sahitya academy award and latest best sellers in indian literature my friends this was my attempt to guide you about all the questions asked if you loved the content even for a second subscribe the channel so that i can bring you more and more knowledge if you are a literature student i invite you to join the net classes gate classes and upsc classes because these kind of discussions are very much common in my classes to qualify net to qualify jrf with knowledge i welcome you to join vinith pandey's classes thank you jai hind jai bharat